All right, what's up, everybody? Today we're going to look at a Megadeth song. Yesterday we did a song off of Load by Metallica, and I thought I would just do all my favorite metal bands first and pick songs that I haven't heard from them for one reason or the other. This time it's Endgame by Megadeth. And I was thinking of doing a song off of Risk because not a lot of people talk about that album. And I started reading about it. It seems like it's kind of universal. Nobody likes that album very much. So I didn't want to take a song off of that yet, maybe in the future, because I'm kind of interested now to see what it sounds like. But I heard it got real commercial and stuff. But it was Marty Friedman's last album, so that's a reason why I want to check it out. Anyways, I chose kind of a safer route. I went with Endgame because a lot of people speak positively about it. And Chris Broderick's on it. He's a monster guitar player, so I thought it'd be a lot of fun to listen to some of his licks and see what they're all about here. I've only heard a few songs off of this album, the first couple. I've never heard the title track Endgame, so that's what we're going to do today. And I'm excited. Let's get right to it. We'll do reactions to it. I'll try to learn a few of the riffs if I can uh, on the spot. And then I'll do a review at the end and give a rating. Okay, let's check it out. You know, it's kind of creepy these days. We're in this quarantine and this lockdown. And now when I hear Megadeth songs, it almost seems a little more fitting, like it's a soundtrack for dystopia. Well, they, they use that word a lot. Don't they have an, an album called that? Something dystopia? Maybe it's just called dystopia. I don't know. It's kind of creepy in a way. I feel like someday I'm going to wake up and go, God, Dave Mustaine was right. I hope that doesn't happen. But all right, let's keep going. Wow. I woke up in a black FEMA box. What a way to start a song. Oh. This was all me. oh, I love those notes. Not sure that's what he's doing, but it's close. Kind of like... That's a great sound, I love that. Heavy. Is that a to total Megadeth thing or what? you did my galloping lesson so you can play that part sonically this album is just kicking my butt here i mean the guitar tones are really tight in a fuzzy way so they've got that overdrive that distortion that's really crushing sounding but it's tight it's just well done <laughs> that is dissonant so I, I don't know if this is what he's doing, but I'm just trying to copy it. A big bend and then doing a half step on the next string underneath it <laughs> creates that creates that real tool sound where the uh, frequencies are fighting each other. It just makes that really scary noise. I 
I don't know if it's just a, a natural thing to happen when you try to replace Marty Friedman. Uh, all the guitar players that came after Marty and Megadeth, they all seem to have those bends that they took from him. It's really hard. You know, I did that whole Tornado of Souls solo video. And afterwards, I couldn't help but take a few of those characteristics with me. So in a way, once you play Marty Friedman, it'll always be with you in a weird way. <clears throat> That's as close as I can get here. This could easily become top five Megadeth albums for me. Every time like I hear anything from Endgame, it's just it just kicks my butt. That totally pulled a um, Holy Wars, where it, no, Hangar 18, where it just changes all of a sudden. The groove just completely flips on you. Love that. You ever want to make a power chord heavier? Just add the extra string underneath it. So instead of, you get the double power chord with the low fifth under it. Megadeth has a way of sounding really heavy for being in standard tuning in this song. It's pretty amazing. Gotta figure this out. smoke on the water. <laughs> Watch if I know Dave Mustaine's down picking that part. I don't think so. Wow. Is it actually fading out? I'm gonna have to do a Chris Broderick video. He's got a lot of cool chops and some of the stuff he does reminds me of what I like to play too. So if I could just copy some of his licks, that'd be awesome. I really like that tune and I really think I'm gonna get into Endgame. I'm gonna to listen to it quite a bit this week now that I heard that song. And it's one of those things where when a band comes back from all those changes and all those different styles that they kind of dabbled into and they return back to their original form, it's great to hear them come back home. And this is one of those albums that to me sound like 
older Megadeth, it's got a better production just because it's more modern, even though it's 2009, I believe, which is so strange. It was 11 years ago. It feels, feels like 2009 was yesterday. And so it's going to be kind of interesting to check out this entire album and see if it's all this powerful, because so far all the tracks that I've heard off of it have sounded like this, kind of like a constant machine gun shooting at you. I would have to say I got pretty excited about this song. I would have to give it an eight. I'm just getting a little bit tired today. I was going to go home and just chill. But after this, I feel like I can uh, work out tonight. So that's awesome. So thanks for the energy boost, Megadeth. And I guess we'll catch you guys later. Thanks for watching. I'll choose a, another band next time for one of these. Uh, somebody who's not so obvious probably next time. Okay. Thanks for watching, everybody. See ya.